With Season 5 officially out, today we're going to be giving you guys the best Call of Duty settings to help you win more games and absolutely dominate. Whether you're struggling with FPS, aim, audio, whatever it may be, let's go ahead and start off with the first thing. It's going to be controller settings. For my button layout, I do use tactical flip if you're wondering. Uh, we're going to have this on as well to make the flip happen. Controller vibration off because there's no need for controller vibration. Uh, for my dead zone inputs, I have my left stick minimum on one so my controller reacts a lot quicker with movement my left stick max at 80 again so you hit the maximum a lot quicker with your left stick my right stick i usually go from like two to five uh, i went up to five to try it but normally i'm somewhere between two to five so it's definitely depending on if you have dead zone or cf stick drift or not i wouldn't really recommend anything over 10 is overkill 10 is what they usually put you on the game but if you can play at least on five you definitely should because it'll help you aim better and hit your shots my right stick max you usually don't want to touch this i got it on 99 for my left trigger and right trigger for some reasons on 10 but ideally you want them on zero so for my aiming let's talk about sensitivities i am currently on 88 cents and usually like you see the pro players play on 661 i'm using 880.75 ads and this just feels good in warzone because you know usually warzone it's a bigger map usually you have to turn around more often you have to like turn really quickly and challenge multiple people at the same time so playing on a faster sense feels nice it does feel fun I would recommend somewhere between six to eight sensitivity. I wouldn't go any higher than that and probably not any lower than that, especially in Warzone. So as you can see, it's eight, eight, but if you come down, I do play on dynamic response curve type. A dynamic response curve type kind of gives you that snap ability aim, allows you to snap on your opponents easier. That's when you see those really good players. You're like, how do they just snap their sticks around and hit everybody? A uh, dynamic helps them achieve that. And if you go down really quickly here, aim assist type, I do use default. I don't like messing around with other aim assist types. I have in the past and just default is the best right now if you go to my custom sensitivity because i do have this on at the moment for snipers mainly uh i do have my low zoom at 0.75 that's what i'm saying so when you use any gun that doesn't have a scope on it it's going to be 0.75 which if to compare it, it's like if you're on 66 sensitivity 180 s it's the same thing but you're in a higher sense and you still have that 661 sense ads and then i got my multipliers a little bit lower if you want to copy this and then if you go down again target aim assist type default and this is a normal gameplay wise we're gonna have the automatic tactical sprint on this is like almost a no-brainer this is good for movement it's gonna help improve your movement a lot more especially when you're sprinting around the map we got this off we got grounded mantle off automatic airborne mantle partial and automatic ground mantle hang off it's gonna help still mantle and stuff but like you won't just auto mantle everything it's very annoying you're running around the map or you challenge something you go for a jump shot and you're just mantling stuff so you want the settings like this for a slide and dive behavior your slide only is technically the way because it's going to allow you to slide cancel faster and more precise it's going to be better for just and slide canceling is like key in this game so you're going to want to be able to do this a hybrid is good for warzone but it takes a while to get used to it and for me sometimes it doesn't even feel worth it so if you can get used to hybrid you know i do recommend hybrid as well if not just use slide only a uh, plunging underwater free is key parachute automatic behavior off sprinting door bash on these are really good settings you're going to want to be using let's climb behavior movement base gas mask activation manual and there's a couple more settings i want to talk about down here for your interact and reload behavior make sure it's on prioritize interact this is obviously really good for war zone to grab stuff really quickly and when you're picking up loot you know switching guns picking up guns whatever the case may be it's definitely going to help you and then you want it for armor plate behavior apply all it's going to put all your plates on very quickly and it's going to make it way better you're going to be able to maneuver around the map a lot easier and lastly for here make sure your vehicle camera recenter is off this is going to be good for like when you're driving around your car it doesn't automatically recenter back into the center of it so you can kind of look around as you're driving around the map now let's go to graphics so i got full screen exclusive you're always going to want to be on full screen exclusive 99 percent of the time uh make sure it's obviously on your gpu make sure it's on the right screen refresh rate because sometimes it's not so you got to confirm these things make sure it's on the right display resolution and then you want to go down here uh brightness i like to up it a little bit compared to the default default is 50 i feel like it's a little dark so usually i do like 54 55 again this is different for everybody some people's you know your monitor might be a little bit brighter than mine or might be a little dark into mind so maybe you up it a little bit more or don't up it that much and video reflex low latency make sure this is on on boost or at least on uh this definitely helps for sustainability you're going to want to make sure your echo mode preset is on efficiency and then your v-sync gameplay on off this is going to help with getting more frames on top of it for the custom frame rate limit i have it on limited you can cap it if you 
feel like it's worth it and then you can cop other settings here and all that good stuff now let's go to the quality section make sure this is on 100 this is going to be you know basically matching your resolution it's going to be better quality fidelity cast i have this on 100 percent, and i have this almost at 100 because it makes the game look way more clear and sharper but i have it at 95 because sometimes it looks too sharp path is tracing off vram scale target 80 variable rate shading on nvidia dlss frame generation off and then we come down to here so i have texture resolution on normal you definitely want to have some decent quality but you know if you go obviously high it's gonna it's gonna go up pretty high it just depends on your pc if you're struggling with frames you can have this on low but there's no very low and low are very similar so you might as well just have it on low if you're gonna have it lower uh so have this on high off high high on on high off normal low off 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 low off low off 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 now uh, this is going to obviously help a lot with getting more frames and having better performances some of these settings are on high for good reason right we put them on high because it's going to help you get more frames or it doesn't affect your frames as much or at all so make sure to copy these settings for view and fov we got the 120 120 is almost a must in war zone uh if you're going to drop the lowest out go in war zone is probably 110 i would not go lower than 110 in war zone but right now i got 120 ads field of view unaffected just going to help you with visual recoil it is definitely better than playing on independent so you're going to be able to shoot people up farther and have less recoil, essentially. Uh, weapon field of view, I have this on wide, but sometimes people say narrow is better, or you can just put it on default. Next, I got the world motion blur off. Make sure the, these both blurs are off. They're just going to make your game look crappy for no reason. And film grain, make sure this is on zero. You don't want your game to look grainy, right? You want your game to look clear, sharp. So put this all the way down to zero. And for my first person camera movement, make sure this is on 50%. It's going to help with like kind of the shaking in game, and you do not want this on 100%. You want this down all the way to 50 percent who cares about the realism you want to be able to see where you're looking at you don't want the shakiness you want performance and another cool setting you can turn on is inverted flashbang that way it doesn't become white it becomes black so instead like it doesn't affect your eyes as much next for audio i do play on home theater now i do recommend home theater or i think it's headphones a uh, bass boost this is going to help like hear better the way my settings is set up, I just like home theater more. Uh, for my volumes, I do have a master game volume at 90. Music volume is zero because music volume has no you know place in performance. A uh, dialogue volume at 60, just so I hear the character talking a little bit. Effects volume 100, the most important one. Cinematics music volume at zero. And War Strikes volume doesn't really matter. I think that's set the volume music that plays while well in a vehicle. So I think that's fun. You can have it 100. But if you want to be, again, performance, I'm mean, usually there's no music in cars, but you can put it at zero. This, you can kind of copy these settings as well. This is like performance base and this just like voice chat stuff if you want to take a quick look at it so you can see what i have it on um, but there's still some more stuff we have to talk about also we make sure this is on that is definitely going to help you with your audio a little bit and then of course we want to go to the interface so there's a couple things we can talk about here so color customization uh you can definitely customize you know your enemies your your color like whatever you feel like you want to do to yourself and if you want something to look different you can customize it here but also changing this will also make your game look better you're going to want to put it on filter too you're going to want to put on both and you want to put this both at 100. This is going to make your game look more colorful, more popping, less dull. And you're definitely going to like it. You know, when you play, you're going to like the way it looks. HUD bounds, I have it almost all the way in. You can obviously pull it in. But basically, you want your HUD to be closer to the center, right? You want us to be able to see your minimap, which is probably the most important thing. And, and then on top of it, you can see your ammo, your gun, whatever other stuff on your HUD that's important. So you want to have your HUD a little bit more, you know, um, closer, right? This is almost all the way in, I think. Yeah, this is bas basically all the way in. But that's definitely what you want to do. Make sure your minimap shape is square. Minimap rotation on. Uh, horizontal compass, I guess you, you can have that on. Crosshair, static, just feels the best i do have the center dot on which is that little dot in the center of your screen which basically helps you center when you're moving around the map uh i tried larger and larger larger is okay uh largest feels looks pretty insane on your screen i would not go largest i would either do default or larger depending on if you feel default is too small of course if you go down here as well if you go to uh, this one custom then you want you can turn off your fps counter you can turn off your certain latency you can turn on your packet loss so this is going to be really good to you know have those things up there in case you know you're wondering what's my fps at what's my latency on you know am i getting packet loss right now obviously i did have my gpu temperature on too because my pc was overheating a little bit at one point so i just kind of put that on but definitely pretty cool to have these things and you can definitely test it out and see if you need any of those things guys i hope you enjoyed today's call of duty video make sure to like comment and subscribe i hope you have a wonderful day we're planning to do more call of duty content in the near future so stay tuned.